For the vast majority of my runs, a full-on hydration vest is more liquid and more storage than I'm gonna need. This summer, I'm looking for the perfect waste pack that can get me through my medium and long runs without being as hot as a full hydration vest. Will the Osprey Duo Solo with its 570 milliliter bottle and pockets for gels be what I'm looking for? It's time to strap on this belt and take it for a run. Ten point two six miles, nine minutes, one second per mile, one hundred and forty beats per minute today. Going for a nice and steady, easy run along the lakefront today, and taking the Osprey Duo Solo with me for a run. Now, before I give you my thoughts on this waste pack, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a belt that I purchased myself. No one sent it to me. No one's paying me to make this video, and no one's going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So, with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the Osprey. Duo Solo. First, let's go over some specs. The water bottle itself is a 570 milliliter water bottle and it's curved and contoured so it fits your body as it sits kind of like a little bit diagonally and towards the small of your back. In the pack, it has a little strap that you can use to secure the water bottle so it's not going to fall out. Next to the strap, there is kind of a double pocket system. There's an outer pocket that closes with hook and loop closure. In the outer pocket, there's a transparent TPU window uh, that is touch sensitive. So if you've got your phone in there and I was able to fit my iPhone 11 Pro with a case on in there, you could still operate the phone while it's still in there without having to take it out. And that closure is secured with a very, very sturdy hook and loop enclosure down here. Very hard to get in and out of this thing, but once you put your phone in there, it's going to stay in and that flap closes shut. Underneath this flap, there is a zippered pocket and on the end of this zipper to help you open it is a whistle in case you're running this uh, pack in a race and you need to have a whistle on your person, you've got it. The zipper opens up to a stretchy mesh pocket which is large enough to hold a gel and I did run with this gel in the pocket for this particular run. I didn't need it because it was gonna bring all this fluid with me. I'm not gonna need fluid and a gel for a run of this intensity for this duration but I just wanted to make sure I loaded up the pack to give it a, a decent test. And then at the bottom, there's even a little bit more space. So you're taking advantage of all the real estate uh, that's back here. Uh, to secure the vest, there is a nice adjustment system, nice and chunky, uh, easy to use even while running. And then the thing I really like about it is that once you've done the adjustment, the excess material gets kind of trapped underneath this pocket. So there's no like flappy straps going all over the place. I feel like that's something that a lot of packs, waste packs, uh, regular full-on vests and running backpacks all tend to ignore is like, yeah, their cinch straps are great, but like, what do you do with the excess? You got to figure out a way to kind of like tuck it away, especially if you're going to use something for a race or a workout. And I love the way that they handle it on this one. Uh, as far as on the back, there is an air mesh that's back here that is a little bit padded and, and pretty breathable. The air flows this through this really well. Uh, it's a sort of a weird shape. Um, like it kind of looks like a weird jock strap kind of in terms of the triangle but this goes in the back and it looks like it's not going to fit or it's going to be awkward but it actually sits on the back pretty nicely to close it i do like it when belts have like an actual clasp enclosure because it's easier to get in and out of it also i'm thinking if you're taking this to an aid station and you want someone else to go like fill it for you you don't have to like get out of it so i like the idea of like the easy in easy out and the clasp is nice and chunky it feels like it's a they spent a little bit of money on this one to make sure that it's gonna hold up, but also so it's gonna be really easy to use. And then you're not just dealing with this thick cord of a strap, you also got kind of like these wings along the side, so that way it's a little bit more comfortable as you're wearing this belt. So now let's talk about what it was like to run in it. I actually thought it was really comfortable to run in. I already mentioned that despite the kind of like awkward looking shape, it actually sits on the back really nicely. 
It sits a little bit higher than I would kind of like. A lot of times waist belts, I'm thinking kind of fit like, you know, half on like the waistband of my pant and then half like covering my belly. Uh, and But this one, I felt like it kept riding up a little bit higher. So I did have to like cinch it down a little bit tighter as I went to run, but it was still comfortable. Um, once I got it on there and once I like kind of really dialed in the fit, it was really great. It didn't move at all, but because it sits so high, like you can't really like pull your shirt over it. So like, you're definitely like tucking the shirt underneath the belt, which is fine. I think it looks a little bit goofy overall. It's fine though, but I also feel like it also adds to a little bit of heat. The whole point of me using a waist pack at all is that I'm trying to like increase airflow by a lot as much as possible. And then if I have to tuck my kind of shirt in underneath the belt, it kind of like impedes a lot of airflow. So that wasn't like my favorite part, but overall, as far as like it jostling around, it, everything kind of stayed really well in place. And even though this water bottle is heavy when it's full, 570 mils is about, I think like 18 ounces is the conversion. Um, it didn't feel like it was a heavy bottle, even as I drank from it throughout the course of the run, uh, I didn't really feel like it was sloshing around. I feel like the way that they've put it in kind of the small of your back, is an area where you you can really carry a bit of weight and you won't kind of really notice it because it's so in your center of gravity. So I, I really like the way it's all laid out. There's a little bit of a retaining strap here and I was a little concerned about it at first because um, it does seem to be pretty thick and it doesn't really stretch a ton. But as I was running, I was able to reach back, flick it open, pull out the bottle, drink, uh, and then put everything back all pretty easily. Now, today I went for an easy run and ideally I'd like to be able to take any waste pack on a workout as well. So I didn't get a chance to test it out kind of like at full speed or like at workout speed. Uh, but as far as like just getting acquainted with this belt and testing it to see if it even works, everything seems to work out really well in terms of the hydration. Here's where it starts to get a little kind of like not as great, but livable. So this pocket, um, I think, is a little bit outdated in terms of like its function and how you're supposed to use it. When I see kind of like this clear plastic stuff, it reminds me of like those giant things people used to wear. I mean, I think I still see people wearing them, but they've definitely fallen out of favor. But those big things that people would put their phones inside and, and wear on their arm, it kind of reminds me of that. And I feel like I'm not interacting with my phone like that. Uh, if I do need to do something with my phone, I can use like voice assistant to do most of the things that I'll need to do while I'm out on a run. Uh, and so like, I don't need to like have it in like a protective kind of like case like this where I can still also see it. Maybe that's gonna be a feature for some people, but for me in 2021, it seems a little bit outdated. And you know, I don't know when the Duo Solo first came out. So it might just be that it was originally designed like eight years ago and that's why it looks like this. But for me, it just seemed like, you know, this, all this stuff here is a lot of material that like I would have rather just lost some of this weight. Um, or figured out a different kind of pocket system to go in here if I were to update this. But, you know, to the extent that it's here, uh, on this run, I didn't run with the phone, but I did run, I like my mask that I needed to wear. I did put that in there and my keys. And this is like an ultra secure pocket because like this Velcro, it's just super hard to get in there and get into this pocket. Um, it, it works really well. So not, anything you put in there is not gonna come out, but I really wouldn't put anything in here that you're gonna actually wanna access like during the run, cause that's gonna be a little bit difficult. Moving to the zipper pocket, I think it worked out really well. And what I would have loved to have seen instead though, is like kind of like a double pocket system, maybe one pocket and then with that, you could like stash stuff in and then another, maybe like a Velcro enclosed pocket here. If you're gonna go with two pockets, I think that would have been a little bit more useful because this space real estate wise is big but there just wasn't a lot I could fit in there. So like I'm able to fit this science and sport gel, which is a bit of a larger gel, but it's kind of like, you know, I can fit one of them in here. Maybe I could jam two. Maybe I could take a use there. You could fit some stuff in the bottom down here too. But so maybe I could fit like another gel if I had a smaller gel in here, but one, maybe two gels max is what you're going to be fitting in this pocket. So I feel like for the amount of space that this takes up, I feel like they could have done more and we're losing it because of this, you know, like phone window. I did test the phone window though. I put my phone in there and it, it, you know, it all works. It all works really fine, but I just don't need it. 
The only other downside of this is I would say uh, in the buckle area over here. Now I love this clasp. I mentioned how it just, it's a nice robust clasp. It feels like it's not gonna break. It feels like I could just jam it in and then pop it open. Everything works really well. I also like this, like the tightening mechanism, you pull on it and then it has a nice, very satisfying clamp down on here that you can use to quickly cinch stuff and clamp it down and make sure you've got that fit. And it's something you can even do while you're on the run. But the problem is the chunkiness of this part here, the adjustment strap kind of started digging into uh, kind of like my left abdomen right where this was uh, by the end of the run. And so I feel like if this was something where I were doing a workout, uh, I think kind of like the weight of the bottle is on one side and that pulls on this heavy clasp on the other. It, it was starting to kind of like create a little bit of what could potentially be if this was a little bit longer of a, of a run, be a little bit more of an irritation. But for today, I noticed it, it might be a problem. It probably will be a problem for anything longer than a couple hours. Um, so like that's something else just to kind of keep in mind. But overall, I was really happy with what this provided for me because when I'm thinking about like, you know, what kind of run I might take this on, an hour and a half easy run, maybe an hour and a half workout, maybe a two hour or a little bit longer than that easy run. Uh, I feel like, you know, having a bottle and like a gel is probably plenty, even in some of the hotter summer months, at least for me here in Chicago. So I feel like this is working out really well. I think it's a little bit kind of over designed in some areas and underthought in some other areas overall. So it's a good pack. I really do like this pack and I could see myself using it quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to putting some miles in this one. But it's not perfect, so the search will continue. I do have one more waste pack that I'll be reviewing. That review will probably come up next week, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions about this particular waste pack or any of the other hydration vests and packs that uh, I've used before, feel free to put them down in the comments down below. I'd love to talk to you guys down there. Or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to be able to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?